So there's still no performance update here, which I suppose is fine. It's just one of those things I, I gotta deal with it for the time being, which is unfortunate. Because I'm playing on like a s stupidly powerful PC. I, I really dislike games nowadays launching with so many issues. Just appreciating the view. What am I looking for? Two beams wrapped around the yacht. Gotta take a lot of torque. A talking Jedi torque. I think I can handle that. Jedi torque. Is that a, is that a euphemism? We'll pretend we didn't hear that. Hey, Cal, I tried to move those beams, but yeah, Gav's giving me the heads up. All right. Yeah, this this is kind of a cool little set piece. It's one of those very um, very intricate things that they put together just so you can platform. And you know what? I'm I'm fine with that. It's, it's fun. First Jedi Torque. <laughs> can you tell the twins to pull down the yacht? On it. Luke, Liz, your turn. Hold on. That's cool with me. All clear, Cal. Long way to drop. Be careful. I'm always careful. <laughs> Corita, save your ass. You owe me a ship. <laughs> Interesting. They they use language there. I mean, I know we we got. For the record, I loosened it up for you. Thanks. I know we got quite a bit of language in, or at least some substantial language in Andor, but I wasn't expecting that in the game. You know, Star Wars as a whole, and this is a bit that I'm going to discuss in my review series where I'm talking about all these different movies and shows and everything. Um, it, it has developed its own language as any good uh, or well-developed world should. If you're if you're doing world building, you should develop some language. You know, Shadowrun is a good example of this. Shadowrun or cyberpunk as well they they come up with random little like terms for normal stuff like um a shadow runner is like a person in the shadow run universe that typically is a bit of a mercenary and does some side jobs um, but they have in their rpg books they have like a whole set of terms that you use in the game if you're playing the game um and it just kind of lets you get a little bit more immersed in the world star wars has that too like uh we, we actually hear quite a few of those in the mandalorian as of the last couple series or seasons and then andor just came out with like this just straight up just foul language in the thing and it felt it felt off it didn't feel like star wars in those moments to me and it's interesting that they went ahead and did it here too nice job cal hop on we'll bring you down now i obviously don't really care i play a lot of I'm on adult games But it is it is interesting that in a game that's typically catered toward a younger audience, and now, time for me and my lovely assistant to show you how it's done. That they're adding language there. Let's go reintroduce ourselves to the senator. Gain access to the senator's terminal. Should I check the rest of the the barge here? Like I could talk to them. We'll see if the senator's got any food on that yacht. Batisa. Okay, it's good to know that they were actually on our side from the very get-go. <laughs> it's like, thank, thanks guys. Is this yacht going to stay here once we're done with it? I also like the design of it. It's like a giant uh, Jedi uh, starship. It's kind of cool. I've, I don't think I've seen a design like this in Star Wars before. I don't think I've seen this particular ship. But it's possible it's in something. A lot of expanded universe. It's like a lot of uh, random ships you. and whatnot. I, I oh. Surprise, mother trucker. Hey. I knew we had unfinished business. Give us your terminal passcode. Impossible. They'll execute me. Right button to mind trick characters with an indicator over their head. Heck yeah. You will give me access to your terminal. I can't. Uh, trust or reward? Trust. That's interesting. You can trust us. We're all friends here. Unlock it. We're all friends here. I can trust you. I will unlock the terminal. Okay. 
I just had no idea what he was up against. If he moves, blast him. Oh, my pleasure. All right, BD. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Everywhere. Not the breakthrough we were hoping for. Years of fighting. Nothing we've done has slowed them down. Oh, that's gotta be discouraging. You You're lost. The Republic is dead. It was killed by politicians just like you. Do you think I wanted Utapau to join the Empire? The compromises I made created a future for my people. I've been to Utapau, Senator. They spit your name out like a curse. At least they are alive. Why fight when you can't win? Surrender tastes bitter at first, Cal, but sweetens with time. Why do I have a feeling that's, me. that is like the uh, and we'll a deal. the line that's going to drive the game right there? It felt it felt really directed, didn't it? No, Senator. Day when your children see this, they'll know the Jedi never stopped fighting for them. Man, this is how disappointing! Performance is really disappointing. Hey, the twins are getting that ravenous look. Let's wrap it up before we have another Karita incident on our hands. Yeah. What about him? He's coming with us. Okay, let's take their food to go. Um, Coruscant Underworld. Lower levels of the galactic capital, Coruscant, are insalubrious and dangerous. <laughs> where, uh, where there is no such thing as an honest living. Even a simple diner must pay tithes to local gang bosses. And bribe is as valid, is as valid currency as a blaster bolt. So, one thing I'm going to change here, just until we do get an update. And I, I do know that they are working on the... The, the performance issues it, it is just disappointing that it is across the board it's on console it's on pc it doesn't matter if you have the game turned up to absolute max like i have it now or you have it to absolute low it runs the exact same which tells me that there is definitely a, a issue on their side now the amd fidelity fx super resolution is a is, is like um is like NVIDIA's DLSS, so deep learning super sampling. Basically, it takes the game, renders it at a lower, or uh, takes the game at a lower resolution, and then just uses AI to upscale it to make it look better on your screen, which improves performance. Really nice little PC feature. Don't get that on, on consoles. However, it's just not working. <laughs> I get the exact same frame rate with it being on as with uh, off, so I'd rather just have it off because it looks a little bit better. Now, which tool of negotiation should I start with first? Didn't you call me sharp-tongued? This one is blunt. Well, it will have to do. It's just straight up, like, torturing people. <laughs> just to, like, extract information. All right, we got a lot of stuff here. Clone Wars. Clone Wars began with the first battle of Geonosis and grew into the galaxy-wide conflict. Fought between the Galactic Republic and the Confederacy of Independent Systems, also known as CIS. It consumed the galaxy for three years. The war finally ended when the Confederacy leaders were concerned, or cornered and defeated, which <laughs> coincided with Jedi Order, uh, who had fought as generals for the Republic, being branded as traitors and executed en masse. In the aftermath, the Republic was uh, restructured into the Galactic Empire with the newly ascended Emperor Palpatine at its head. So, um, oh, I know that there was a bunch of stuff that I just missed. Is it not going to... I think Galactic Empire was one, right? Uh, it emerged from the reorganization of the Galactic Republic following the Jedi Purge and is ruled by Emperor Palpatine, increasingly autocratic and brutal. The Empire's authority de uh, derives no longer from diplomacy, but the marching of stormtrooper columns. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Did the Clone Wars. Galactic Senate. The Galactic Senate, also known as the Imperial Senate, is the governing body of the Empire. And before that, 
the Republic. Since the transition to Empire, the Senate's power has slowly been chipped away, and now many senators find themselves indulging in corruption to recoup the political power they've lost. That's awesome. Well, well written, all that stuff. Especially, I feel like you're fairly new. Bloody negotiation. Uh, Daho, is that his name? I forgot how to pronounce it already. The senator from Utapau was notorious for uh, bending rival politicians to his will by any means necessary. Why you gotta be that way, guy? You're just making people hate you. Yeah, the game looks a little bit better with Fidelity FX off. It really needs DLSS. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, can I talk to you guys? You cooperate. That's a skill senator's prize, right? Fatisa. <laughs> cool. We're just gonna start saying that to people now. My kids are gonna be like, like, can you, can, can I, can I have like candy? I'm gonna be like, Patisa. <laughs> uh, that's funny right there. At least it's funny to me. I, I already do. This is the way. Or I have spoken to them uh, fairly often, so that's gonna be funny. We got a plan for the senator. Still thinking it through. We could always ask Coop and Liz to see whether the senator can fly. Let me go, or your friends will suffer. Do you know who I am? You just got wrecked, my guy. We get what we need? Yeah. Wonder what Saul has for us next. First, we gotta get this intel topside. Yes, we do. Is there time for a quick tour of Seijan's terminal? I could see if the senator's got anything else we could use. Do it. And by we, you mean dirt you can sell to make some credits? You can fight the good fight and still get yours along the way, Cal. That's war. I say here next time. Fine, but lunch is on you, and the twins are starving. <laughs> yeah, they, they look like they might. By the way, I like that we had like a dialogue option there to choose. I've changed my mind. We good. should always target the Empire. Yeah, feels good to make a difference. No, they're loaded, filthy rich. Make the huts look clean by comparison. I bet this senator has more credits. Oh no! Not our lat! <laughs> My favorite ship, why did you destroy it? Let's just hijack one of theirs, huh? What took you so long? Why you've been chasing shadows, I have been stopped! Okay, we got Inquisitor boys. Wait, is it the Grand Inquisitor? Okay, no. Oh, it's what? Oh, come on. You have been caught harboring a traitor. I killed you. Castus. He's like, what? <laughs> I thought I killed you. See, Dank Ferret. Good example of a curse word. No, not the twins. Look out! Oh. Oh, that's really sad. Oh no, dark side. Dark side Kestis. Kel, gotta go! Kel, come back! Kel, where you going? Get back here, Kel! Oh, okay. Oh, goodness. Hey, wait, let's read what this was. BD-1, after working together for years, BD-1 and Cal's bond has, has grown, equipped with an assortment of uh, exploration tools and an unshakable loyalty to Cal. BD is the Jedi's closest friend. Oh, they see, that's a nice, nice little tidbit while we're falling to our deaths. Are you kidding me? Can I, can I not go that way? What did I say? Bravo. The pilot of Cal's crew. Whether he's alive or not, uh, Bravo is a veteran soldier who fought alongside Saw Guerrera. Cal and Bravo have run many successful missions together in their struggle against the Empire. Okay, uh, we have Cal Kestis, Gabs, a syndicate-trained slicer. Gabs doesn't mind 
enriching herself while taking on the Empire. Confident and gutsy, Gabs takes every opportunity to demonstrate her superiority over Imperial Slicers. And now she's dead. That's really sad that Gabs just died like that. Gotta get to the Mantis. Uh, well, I mean, maybe she's dead. I'm pretty sure we killed Ninth Sister in the previous game. I remember, like, chopping some legs off. Or was it arms? I believe it was legs. And then that was when we were fighting the big bird thing. Or at the big bird thing's um, nest. And then we jumped on a big bird and got away. Pretty sure she died. I guess I guess not. We didn't see a body. Right? This is a Star Wars. You don't see a body. They're not dead. <laughs> if Boba Fett can survive a Sarlacc pit, so could Ninth Sister. Uh, Koob and Liz... The Clitoonian twins, Coob and Liz, would do anything to their friend Cal. Their loyalty is only matched by their insatiable hunger, which often gets them in trouble. Gabs, the twins. Well, dead. We'll mourn later. Gotta keep moving. All right, we should probably look around here, huh? All right, here a probey probe. Game's running a little bit better now that we're out of that area. Happy to be off there. I'm actually more or less looking forward to um, checking out. Oh, that little backflip you just did was sick. Gotta stay one step ahead. I'm looking forward to checking out a new planet. Like Coruscant, we've seen Coruscant, right? Obviously, I like being in Coruscant in the game, but I'm really looking forward to like, hey, let's do something new because that's what Fallen Order did really, really well. Jump toward marked walls, perform a wall jump. That feels really cheaty. <laughs> Is that how physics works? Apparently. Oh, wow. There's four collectibles here that we don't have. Chest, essence, treasures. I don't know why I said treasures. So weird. <laughs> Tre treasures. All right. Let's, let's save up. I actually don't even need a heal. Undercity meets. <laughs> this just sound really funny. I don't have a point, do I? No, okay. We'll get there. We'll get an extra spot. Oh, the shadowing and the lighting and stuff is pretty sick. I'm gonna go look up on the left here before we do anything else, I think. So it, this actually might be the way that it wants us to go, right? Oh, we got a, we got a droidy boy. Uh, you're easy to do. Oh my goodness, he's got a gun. Oh, goodness. Okay. I gotta, I gotta, like, get back into the, the thing here. That's so violent. I saw a really funny meme on the subreddit. Um, cause I was looking earlier to see if anybody had found any solutions to the performance issues. Sometimes that happens when a game launches. Someone posted a really funny meme of like, oh god, what was it? It's from like The Boys? Is that what it's called? But it, it was, uh, I can't remember his name, the actor's name. Stem canister. That'll prove useful. But he was saying like, uh... The first time that he dismembered a stormtrooper, max stims increased. Heck yeah. It was like, uh, that was diabolical. I liked it. It cracked me up because I was like, yeah, that's exactly what it felt like. I, I wasn't expecting the dismemberment all of a sudden. Man, that meat packing is disgusting. <laughs> um, I wasn't expecting the dismemberment like to go so hard, but it did. It went really, really hard. Oh, wrong button. Hello, Proby boys. Oh. oh, right. I could, I could double, um, double reflect if I can actually hit it. Oh my goodness, that was so bad. All right, that didn't work. Get over there. You too. <laughs> I don't want to deal with you nerds. All right, let's look around. So it's, it's kind of opened up the game a little bit. It feels like. Just a tiny bit. We got some red areas over there that we can't get to. That is nothing. Although, I remember very vividly in um, 
in, in Fallen Order, like they would have some things, especially on Kashyyyk, just like hidden around like, the, an edge like that, where it wouldn't make sense to have it that way, but they did. That way's blocked. The Go laser on. gate. A barrier of energy similar to ray shields utilized extensively in the Clone Wars. They are resistant uh, to nearly all forms of matter, making it almost impossible to break through them without destroying or deactivating the power source. We'll come back later. You know, kind of like uh, the duel of the fates. Oh, we got a purge trooper, boys. I just don't want to deal with the purge troopers. It's, it is hard to deflect these guys, if I remember correctly. Let's back it up a bit. Oh, come on. I thought I was far enough out. No. <laughs> he recovers a little bit easier than I do. Let's heal up. Hey, buddy. He's going to do his red attack after. Giving us an opportunity. Oof. I should have tried to get out of there, but... Not today. What do you say to the god of death? There was a slice. Oh, he's slicing that. I see. Let me check the map real quick while he's at it. So we could definitely get into the meat. Um, I don't want to... Oh, I just heard spiders. You know, I don't like that. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Although I don't wanna deal with spiders. Oh, is that a spider? That was a rat. I thought I heard a spider. Do, do, do. That's, a, that's a lot of meat, you know what I mean? That's a lot of meat. Where, where are we going here? Okay, there's a thing here that I can get. What is that? Whoa. Force essence acquired. Maximum force increased. My power has doubled since I last saw you, Dooku. <laughs> um, okay, I gotta get through here. Oh, yeah, uh, like this. Be ready. I hear some stormy boys. Hello, hold right bumper and press B to temporarily confuse enemies. Okay, so it is letting me know. Oh, why is it doing this again? Let's fight together. Oh, cool. So he's fighting. He's fighting on my side now. Seer expected me to use it like that. Oh, okay. So Seer taught him how to do the the mind tricks. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I like that. Can I get up there? It looks like I could get up there. I guess not. It's like just slightly too high. I just, I just want collectibles, you know. Oh, what was that? Confused. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing really anything there. Not that I can do much with it, regardless. All right, we got a trigger point here. Freight handling depot. Oh, a lot of storms. A lot of storms. Anything over here? All right, let's do it. I think uh, this guy's probably going to be the best one to take. Holy crap. It's so just violent. I just cut that man in half. And then I cut his friend in half. <laughs> Is that, did I get both of them here? No. <laughs> Let's double, boys. I only use the double bladed for that guy. You want to shoot at me, guys? Go ahead. Make my day. Which one? Which one are we gonna get here? Get up here. I can't believe I swiped that guy from behind me. That felt real good. Je freaking Jedi are overpowered, I'll tell you what. And to make it, make it even better. 
I feel like um, stormtroopers are just so much fun to take out. <laughs> oh, that's right. I killed that guy too. Oh man, I like that. That little double, double deflect. It feels good. All right, let's let's check this out here. Let's check this out. I had a couple comments on that first episode. Um, which, by the way, thank you for commenting. I, I read all of the comments and I and I try to respond to most of them. There's, there's, I, I am limited on time. I, I'm a very busy person, so it's hard to do every single one. But know that I see all your comments. There's quite a few people actually jumping in to the game with me. And I know, I know for a fact you guys are dealing with the same issues that I am, right? Same performance issues because it's across the board. So if you if you are dealing with them, I just want to say, I know. <laughs> I feel it too. But the game is great, isn't it? It's a really fun game. I just wish that that was uh, a little bit better. But uh, you guys are gonna quickly I get ahead of me. This place. Don't spoil anything. Just, just keep it. Just keep it. Yeah, keep it to yourself. Know that I'm super excited though. Turbo dogs. Turbo dogs, a local favorite. Several exposés have attempted to shed light on the popular product meat sourcing. <laughs> You don't say, but this has done nothing to dampen its appeal. Yeah. Is that a is that a hot dog reference? Turbo dogs. Probably. Let's just wall hack. That's what it feels like. Ooh, 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 ooh. You bet your butt I'm coming over here. I don't think I needed to swap sides like that, but I did and it worked. Poncho. Coruscant paint, weapon materials. I haven't been able to adjust my weapon yet, so getting all this stuff feels a little bad. That's fine. That's fine. Oh man, I'm so close to leveling. I'm like right here. Is there like a dude? I suppose there's like a lot of dudes. I just, I just want a little bit more XP. I should save. <laughs> Let's just sit down for a second to save, right? Just save. So that way we can get a little bit of extra XP. And then come back and level up, maybe. Reset these guys. Because I would also get my stim pack back, too, if I reset. Oh, and here's another trick. If you have a card that's capable of doing ray tracing, the game... <laughs> this tells you how just stupid this all is. The game runs better with ray tracing enabled at the moment. At least it does for me on my cards. So, I don't know. Something to consider if you have a ray tracing card. He said it. Spoke too soon. I'll take the Inquisitor. Keep that other gunship off my back. On it. All righty. We gotta take her out. Where am I going exactly? I'm, tr I'm trying to left trigger. There it goes. <laughs> so bad for that lat. Casters! Maybe I didn't chop Oh no, I did chop a leg off. You're right. Uh -huh. Or did, was that me that chopped a leg off? Or did she always miss a leg? I don't remember, honestly. Let's play a game. Not a chance. Okay, cool. I gotta learn her moves here. Kind of wanting my little uber ability, but definitely don't have that yet. We gotta get her for our stuff recharges. Back off. No. 
times, sister. <laughs> I'm okay with taking a hit. In fact, I think I'm gonna be able to skill up here. Brack a rat. She's like rapping at me. Brack a rat a rat. Impressive. But you're hurting bad inside, Kestis. I can sense it. All the guilt you're feeling for those fools you led to their deaths makes you so, so predictable. Bring it on. I like that this is like the first. Oh, this. Oh, ah. this good. Ah. <laughs> what was that? Not this time. Oh, this is cool. This this fight. I like this a lot. No, you don't. You left yourself open. Ah, no, that hurt. Up here. I should have I should have actually rested when I hit that point. I didn't realize I was gonna go into a boss fight, you know. Alright, here we go. Oh, I was gonna use my little ability. It's not gonna let me use it. No, I don't have it yet. I don't have it yet. I just need a, a little bit more, a little bit more damage. Oh, come on. There it goes. Apparently, it doesn't work as well as I thought it did. <laughs> Cow, back up. All right, we can we can still do this. We can still do this. No, oh, not this again. I gotta be kind of careful here. Okay, she's she's being cheeky, she's being very cheeky. Come on, Zen. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's right. You can split his lightsaber. That was rad. <laughs> dual stance acquired. Cal, can you now use dual stance in combat? Dual stance allows for fast strikes and an upgradable force parry, but offers less total stamina. I'm okay with that. That sounds more like my style. Oh, this again. Uh, see, I remember that from the last game. That wow. That felt so good. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so close to death. No. That's so annoying. Oh, no, she got me. <laughs> Oh, that was so close. We were so close. I got I got too greedy. I got too greedy. Let's be honest. I got too greedy. But it was so close. Wait, where did it put us back? Oh, like right here. Okay. I need to clear my mind. Oh, and she's got all my XP, so I can't level. That's annoying. Off we go. Wait, so how's this how's this gonna work? Where does where does it put me? Oh, and I go fight her down there. Okay, that's fine. That's weird. That's fine. But at least I don't have to redo that whole, like, section, right? That's fine with me. And then it gives you an option to be like, oh, I'm going to go get a little bit extra. Uh, you know, I'm going to go level up before I come back. If this were, you know, not inside the beginning of the game here. I'm assuming I don't have double... I don't have the duel until we get later on. Oh, come on. Don't be kicking me, bro. Ooh, okay, that was good. All right, let's skip this. Um, oh, this is tough. This is fun. This is a tough fight, but it's fun. That's the thing I like about this game and Fallen Order is the same thing. 
man. I'll crush you once and for all. That's funny, I just kind of walked away. Oh, that was bad though. Let's heal up real quick. Right here, buddy. Oh, come on. She's so low on stamina, just get her. Uh, I'm, I'm taking too many hits, I'm getting way too greedy. Oh, I went to go block that and I couldn't do it. That's annoying that she's doing this like little dodgy dodge. It's kind of forcing me to block her instead of attack her. Which I suppose is fine. Oh, goodness. Got her on that one. Oh, got the dodge in on that one. Well, eye frames, immunity frames. Oh, come on with the full stamina bar again. I gotta remember I can't block this. Oh, I'm just doing a thing. Oh no, I'm like right there. <laughs> it didn't launch me as far as I thought it would. Okay, give me that double. This block is so sick that he does. Oh, let's do it. All right, all right. I like the double. The dual uh, wheel is so sick. Oh my goodness. Ow. We heal up real quick, Cal. That was my last heal. I'm doing worse this time, I think. I can't, like, can't hit her. It's so annoying. Oh, I can't dodge either. Your death will make me a legend. Go get her. Oh, she can't, shouldn't be able to go right into that. Almost fell past. Now comes her. The parry is so important with her. Now back to this old chestnut. Okay, come on, Zen. Come on, you got this, buddy. Ah. No. I tried to dodge left and right, but it didn't work. No. Come on. I'm so close to finishing her off. Uh, with dual stance equipped, hold Y to automatically parry most attacks, including projectiles. Requires force. Oh, okay. Why didn't it tell me that earlier? You were a Jedi Knight before you betrayed our order. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Your name was Masana Tide. It's time to set you free. Oh, she's dead now. <laughs> she can't come back. That's the end of that. Yeah, boop indeed. Yeah. Okay. 
Wow. What a moment. Well, hey, you guys have got your double-bladed now. Uh, yeah, let's change our stance from double-bladed to dual-wield. That's pretty sick. Um, ninth Sister. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff to read here. Masana Tide, known as the Ninth Sister of the Inquisitorious, craved revenge after being defeated by Cal years before. We learned about Gabs already, and we've already learned about the Senator and them. Okay. Ugh, I need to heal so bad. I also got all my XP back. Um, is it possible to get back up there? Maybe not. It wants me to go forward, so. Just, just don't take any damage, Cal. No damage, zero damage. Gonk, get out of here, Gonky. Oh, meditation point, thank you. There is only the force. Okay, so, yeah, let's go ahead and rest. <laughs> let's go ahead and get skills. So, lightsaber, right? We now have dual wield. So let's look at what dual wield does. Back, step, slash, hold the left bumper, then press X to attack and leap for, uh, backwards. Okay, so you attack. All right, let's let's watch it. Wait, no, 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 no. Let's watch it. So attack, then leap backwards, gain distance from the target. That's pretty sick. I like that. That is nice. I like that boulder. That's a nice boulder. So let's go ahead. And pick this up. I'm gonna use dual wield for a little bit because I think this the school. I mean, we didn't really get to use it in the previous game, <laughs> like right at the end there, and it was just kind of like a. It wasn't really a stance. It was more like, hey, you can you can do this in combat every now and then. Uncoiled strikes delay X input to perform a fury of quick targeted swings. Let's, let's see what this is. Oh, okay, I see. So it's like, like yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Force parry. Perform a spinning strike on releasing Y. Okay, that's cool. I think, um... Yeah, that's a tough one. That requires skill... The two skill points. The parry requires the one. See, here's the thing. I don't know about that, right? I don't know about that because... I really just like to parry and holding Y to do like a force parry to parry anything is kind of cool. I think it might be better than the double bladed lightsaber, but I don't, I don't really know how to feel about that. Well, hmm, we'll see. Do I want to just put a point into this stuff or do I want to hold? Cause I could get my lunging strike better for the single bladed, but I kind of want to just try to go all in on this. If I reset all skills, what's it going to do? After this, spend one skill point to reset and refund a skill tree. All skill trees. So, that sucks. <laughs> um, mm, I don't like that. I don't like that it costs a skill point after that. Maybe... Yeah, maybe maybe I get this and we'll just try out the double bladed, the dual wielder for, for a while. I keep saying double bladed, I mean dual wield. I think that's a good way to do it. Gonk. All set. Gonk, gonk. Um, where does it want me to go? Uh, a couple places I've got available right here. I'll just turn around and go down this way. <laughs> I love gonk droids. <laughs> oh, they're so funny. The, the Shatter Point, uh, I think it's the Shatter Point core set, which is a, another miniature skirmish game coming out um, in, uh, in June. Gonk Droid. Yeah, we're going to learn about the Gonk Droid. Um, it, I think the terrain that comes with the core set has a has a Gonk Droid in it, or it might be one of the terrain expansions, which I find, ex I find super funny. That it's like a piece of terrain as a Gonk Droid. Uh, the Gonk Series Power Droid is renowned as an excellent portable battery unit. They are nicknamed Gonk Droids, both in reference to their series classification and their signature baritone vocalization. Gonk. I just want Gonky, you know? If you not watch Bad Batch, you should. Are you there? Bad Batch is great. Mostly. Let's get back to the Mantis. If the others made it out, they'll meet us at the hangar. This is cool. 
This is really cool, and the performance has gone up a bit, so I'm happy with that. Oh, hey, look, wanted Cal Kestis. Wanted some. Oh my goodness, hello. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that happening. <laughs> it shows me the lone stormtrooper. I know. I have to hit him to get my XP back. Thanks. I. You know what? I kind of like that. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, look at this nerd that just killed you. You feel bad about it? You should. <laughs> I don't know why I was like, I'm gonna do the thing. Maybe the maybe the double uh, the dual wield is not up to my my standard of of gameplay. Maybe I am because I feel like I am more. I I mean I like the faster attack, bam bam bam, like quick quick succession attacks. But maybe at my heart, I'm I'm a cross guard player. I'm a I'm a heavy attack player. Maybe. I kind of just want to hit him to get my XP. Else, take him down. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> uh, I love this game. This is a fun game. Pew! Right into my face. That was so funny. Can I get up here? Is there is there a hidden hidden thing up here? Right, probably. I think I'm just overthinking it. All right, let's go. We're gonna have to wall run on my own face. And then on a Clatoonian. No, oh, no, here we go. And well, jump over there. She kind of looked like a, like a, another version of like, uh, Cad Bane. Oh, it'd be really cool if we found Cad Bane in this game, wouldn't it? Oh, I would love that. Cause he, I mean, Cad Bane's around, he doesn't die until later. He doesn't die until after it, Empire Falls. Hello, my guy. I do like, I do like this, where I'm just relentless. Hey, can we knock him against that for a second? <laughs> Stop you. Oh, this feels so good. I, I am a Jedi. <laughs> Am I a Jedi? I feel like a Jedi. Air traffic control perch. Can we buzz the tower? Skyline perch used by the Coruscant security forces to monitor traffic flow and enforce regulations. They hate Maverick. Oh, this is cool. Oh, am, I, am I gonna have to jump over there? Oh, this is a cool set piece. I like this. This is a great intro to the game because they're like, they give you a cool boss, you know, someone that literally means nothing because you technically defeated them in the previous game and it has a cool moment, sure. Like, I'm really happy with the moment that you have with her. But Fingers close. it's not like a character we, we care to defeat the second time, right? We're, we're not like, um... It's not like we're fighting, I don't know, Darth Vader or something. It's just it's just Ninth Sister who we, we defeated already. Nice. And yet it still has a lot of weight to it. And they picked a really good character to do that with. This is cool. This this feels very Republic, this section we're at here. This doesn't feel very Empire. To our life. Thanks to this crazy son of a gundark. Son of a gundark. Her. I'll manage. What happened to the Inquisitor? Dead. The gaps. And the twins. I, sh I should have. They know what they signed up for. We need to get topside and transmit that intel to Saul Guerrero. That's how we honor the fallen. Yeah, I agree. Oh, man, Cal looks so good. You're right. Yeah. BD, call the ships. I want to see Cameron play Cal in live action. That would be great. I'm sure up in Ahsoka or something. Not the valet service I was hoping for. Bravo. You got Overwatch? On it. All right. I'll draw the fire. You hit them when they aren't looking. Let's get some payback. See you in the mix, Scrapper. Also, they made him look. Uh, 
he's a beautiful man. <laughs> that hairline is just next level. That, okay, hold on. I gotta look at the map. Yeah, that's gonna be something that we get to do is, is do something with the electricity. Do I get like force lightning? <laughs> do I go dark side and get force lightning and zap those open? Moving into position. I got you covered. Let's do this. Just save. Um, you know what? I could, I could go ahead and rest. There's no reason for me not to. I'm, I'm not like Ready to going go? back anytime soon. Hello, nerds. There we go. On way. Let's take them down. Shooting at the oh my goodness! I, like can't get to him, and then he just hit me with his gun. How embarrassing. I like the way he runs with that. Uh, if Cal runs out of block stamina, he will be temporarily stunned and vulnerable. That's bad. Let's get that stamina back up, huh? Thanks, Bravo. Am I missing things here? I feel like I am. I feel like there's things I could be looking for. I don't know why the camera just like zipped that direction. All right, Bravo, keep it up. What a shot. What a shot, Bravo. I don't see the shots he's making. I'm too busy looking for loot. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. Man, I I love the land. It's such a cool ship. Oh, the Mantis is right there. Here we go again. I can't wait to end you. Oh. I'm going to end you. Right here, BD. Aim I'm not sure how I feel about the, the dual wield. It's fun. It's cool. It looks flashy, but mm, I think I like the single blade better. I think I do. C ninety five. Nice. That one's all yours, Boat. At a hunch, this might be a hot exit. See so you both in the air. This X wings ready. Oh, this has been a great first date and all, but I still haven't gotten paid. Close enough. Locator beacon. Got the other on the mantis. When things cool off, come and find me. We'll settle up. Yeah. Sure, I can trust you. You saw the intel. A lot more work to be done. Looks like I made the cut, huh, BD? <laughs> Boat? May the force be with you. You're a great fighter, Cal. Let's see how well you fly. How we looking, BD? Oh. Whatever it is, I'll have to wait until we get someplace safe. This is cool. No traffic. Looks like this portal's under maintenance. As soon as we've breached the surface, jump to light speed. Gotta take the risk. We've already overstayed our welcome. We got company. On my mark, hit the brakes. We'll drop behind him. Copy that, Bravo. This is so cool. Nice work, everyone. Hope that's the last of them. Had a fan of long goodbyes. <laughs> you had to say something. 
more coming. I'll peel off, draw a few away. Thanks, Bod. Good luck. You too, Cal. See you soon. Can't shake him! Hold on! That's one way to do it. Learn that move from you. Here's our exit. We're almost there. All coming in from the surface. And on our tail. We're trapped. <laughs> Kills down! We're almost... Ah! Rollo! I had a feeling he went to make it. Our, so our, our ship is like super screwed right now. The Mantis gonna need some repairs. Took some hits back there. You mind running diagnostics while I transmit the intel? Marion. The galaxy is vast, Troid. And I have seen only a little of what it has to offer. But one day, I will return to Dathomir and whisper what I have learned to my sleeping sisters. They were not invited. You know, it's not often I break out an old family recipe like this. Is it oversalted? Well, what do you think? Mara. It's good. <laughs> he oversalted it. Some more salt. <laughs> Too the much joke. salt is bad for you. <laughs> oh, they leaned into it. I can't it's believe it. Grease. That's so funny. I'd actually pay credits for this. Oh, yeah? Hey, I might start charging you, Cal. <laughs> Hey, does anybody else smell something burning? <laughs> That's cute. That was really cute. You need to find your friends, my guy. Gyro's failing. We need that. Uh, any ports nearby that won't turn us in for a reward? <laughs> yeah. Pull up the Kobo system. That's where you settle down. Out in the middle of nowhere. Could be a good place to lay low. If anyone knows how to fix up the mantis, it's Grease Dritus. Oh, we're gonna go see Grease. Nice. Think we can make it? So, <clears throat> if you don't know, 
we'll, we'll, we'll read the alone thing. If you don't know the, what I was talking about with the, the salt, because maybe, maybe it skipped you by, or maybe you didn't watch my Fallen Order playthrough, there's a really funny moment in the, um, uh, basically between Sayre or Seer and, uh, and, and Cal, but they're having a really heated discussion about stuff. And, and Grease is sitting there cause they're all eating and Grease is sitting there listening, but he's just like salting his food as he's listening, but he's so focused on listening that it's just is salt on salt on salt. And I don't know if it's an intended thing. That's the thing. I don't know if he was intended to be just like salting his food like that, or if it's intended that you're supposed to be keeping an eye on these other two characters, your focus is on them. You're not noticing this background character, just like having a, a idle animation. I don't quite know exactly how that worked out. I haven't looked into it, but it is such a funny moment because when, once you notice it, it is so weird. <laughs> He's just sitting there salting his food for like 30 seconds and they leaned into it. I can't believe it. I'm so happy about that. That was so funny. Alone, safety aboard the Mantis and away from Coruscant, Cal transmitted the intel to Saw Gerrera and began a ship-wide diagnostic. As Cal reflected over the loss of his friends, BD played footage of the Mantis crew during happier times in an attempt to comfort him. When the recording finished, the diagnostics report revealed a faulty gyro module. Realizing only Grease would know how to fix the Mantis, Cal piloted a course or plots a course for Latero's new home of Kobo. Um, a couple things. That was a really cute moment between Cal and Marin. I, I really do hope there's a thing going on there between them because I hope that Cal realizes the Jedi Order is finished and this, the, the connections and the stuff that they were doing with that were kind of uh, the reason why the Jedi Order fell to begin with and then decides, you yeah, know, maybe Marin and I can, you know, be a thing because I think, I think those two characters are great. I, I'd ship it. Second, and this, this is just one of those, um, I mean, how do I put this? Hold on. Let me, let me consider this. This is one of those moments in this game and in the Star Wars universe that I hope there's a connection there that we we haven't quite gotten at this point, but is going to be revealed later in the game because like maybe when we talk to Saw, because Saw is, well, you know, we just transmitted all that information to Saw, the galaxy. Here's where the empire is. I'm super hopeful that one of the places that we transmitted the data to, to saw is for um, like Aldani. And then maybe somehow that information gets to the crew on, on Andor. And, and then that's how, that's how we know about Aldani. I don't know if Aldani happens before or after this, I believe it happens after this. So that's just one of those like, Oh man, I'm, I am really enjoying this game. That's all I can say. I'm tidy up before we visit Grease. Really, really oh, enjoying this. this. This has to be the most fun I've had with a video game all year. Like I am, I am all in. I love the story of this. It's so good. Um, alone after Narius, narrowly escaping Coruscant, Cal questions whether the past years of fighting the Empire were worth the sacrifice. With his former Mantis crewmates spread across the galaxy, Cal is now on his own. I don't know if I read that before. Sounds familiar. Oh, this game is so good. I am loving this so much. Can I go mess with my lightsaber? Can we, can we like, oh, Saw Gerrera? Okay, infamous uh, Onderonian Ander, uh, insurgent, Saw Gerrera, by the way, trained by Anakin and uh, Obi-Wan to be an insurgent. Uh, Saw Gerrera works with Cal Kestis to run operations against the Empire. Gerrera charges Cal and his crew with obtaining military intel from the yacht of Senator Doho Sija. Okay. Oh, this game is so good. Do we have a thing back here? Oh, it's not going to give me a thing? Come on. Jero uh, Tapal. Yeah. So this is our master. Jedi Master Jero Tapal was a general during the Clone Wars who mentored his Padawan Cal Kestis with a firm and disciplined doctrine. Tapal was mortally wounded during Order 66. But by the way, that whole scene, the, the, the whole thing in fallen order was great with this whole thing um also i just noticed when i had gone back to play fallen order that the title screen of fallen order is is cal escaping on the um on the the escape pod from the star destroyer that that he was uh mortally wounded on and i love that because it, when you first go into the 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 
title screen of that game. You have no idea any of that. It doesn't, it's just like a Star Destroyer with a, a an explosion happening and, and him escaping from one of the, um, it's not even a Star Destroyer. It's a, one of the clone, um, what are they called? Venators. So yeah, it's, it's fantastic once you notice those little things. Um, Ninth Sister, right? Uh, Masana Tide, known as the Ninth Sister. Ninth Sister is Inquisitorious. We already read that one. All right, let's back this up. It's not going to let me do anything with my lightsaber, but it looks like this is where the lightsaber thing is going to be. The Escape. The Ninth Sister, bent on revenge, ambushed the crew. She executed Senator Sajan, and in the ensuing firefight, Gabs and the twins were killed too. To buy Bode and Bravo time, Cal confronted the Ninth Sister and defeated her. At the hangar, Cal offered Bode to... Uh, bode a locator beacon so that the mercenary could track him down for payment after they escaped. As Imperials pursued and uh, the remaining crew, Bode drew several fighters away, but Bravo's ship was shot down before the jump to light speed. Cal finds himself with BD aboard the Mantis, safe but otherwise alone. Lots of, lots of stuff here. It's just giving it to me. Let's clean this up. Is that some BD parts? It is. Assembly. Uh, the Stinger Mantis. Stinger Mantis is a S161 Stinger XL luxury yacht made by Latero Spaceworks and originally obtained by Grease. Uh, he obtained the ship after taking out a recklessly large loan to buy it. As a luxury vessel, the Mantis boasts a comfortable interior and study uh, exterior. Sturdy ex yeah, study exterior. Um, in the years since its daring escape from Fortress Inquisitorius, the ship has been helmed by Cal Kestis as he continues to try to push back against the Galactic Empire. Love it. Assembly. Oh, is, is that now going to let me go back here? Yeah, workbench unlocked. Cool. So I can now mess with that stuff. We can change our colors back to what we unlocked. I'm so excited. Workbench is unlocked. You can now customize BD1's parts, materials, paint, and condition. Additional BD1 customization options can be found throughout the game. Oh, I'm so happy. Let's get this back on the workbench. Use the workbench. Um, is there a save point in here? That's what I'm curious about. It feels like there needs to be like like a save point right here kind of like you know they had the the point back here in the first game i was expecting it to still be here it's a little meditation point i mean it would make sense right all right let's look at this real quick okay what do we got it's a long episode it's a single um press y to preview different stages on the workbench at any different time okay um double bladed and dual wield cool so uh lightsaber bd let's look at bd I can't believe like he's just like straight on this. This is great. Oh, you can like fully customize BD1. That is great. Head. Which one has he got? I like how it's like open. So he's got like all of these things here. I'm cool with that. Um, materials. So primary and secondary materials. Oh, <laughs> there's so much customization here. Um, I think for the time being, Ooh, I like the purple accent. Oh, and you can like change it between different ones. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So this is Coruscant pale coral. This is a starter mix and starter paint. So like I could choose like different silvers. Ooh, the gold is nice I like that, but, oh, this is great. This is freaking fantastic. Polish, you could polish it or unpolish it. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go pink because, oh, there's like different well-kept, worn, ancient, well, now, BD1, he's well-kept. You know? That'll do. Um, lightsaber, we need, I don't care about the materials or anything, blade, baby. Yeah, we're gonna go with the magenta blade for a bit. Although they got the white, I like the white blade. I loved the white blade in the Old Republic. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. All set. Uh, components, Jared Paul. I'm, I'm gonna keep most of these on as is because this episode is running long, but I may end I up roll with this. Um, fully customizing that. Oh, yeah, We're there's our there. lightsaber, baby. Head up to the cockpit. Oh, and here's our yes, I love this 10 out of 10 so far. I love this game. Um, let's go ahead. Skills, I'm gonna rest as well. Do I have any skill points? I don't think it gave me any. No, okay, that's fine. Totally fine. Let's go ahead and rest, and then we'll head down to the planet. 